with my visor clip, so. Continue straight. Then use the right two lanes to keep right onto Gaston Avenue. Well, if you can hear the navigator, he's telling me I'm on Gaston Avenue right now, heading into downtown Dallas. It's a rainy day, got rained out, and the homeowner is not happy. He thinks I'm making up excuses. And uh, <laughs> I can't, I cannot lay brick. I cannot uh, use MP1 caulk um, on a wet chimney. So. Use the right two lanes to keep right onto Gaston Avenue. And what's this hippie? Chavez Boulevard at 0.5. So I need to get over one. I got a blind mirror, so. Anywho, there's a, uh, get to see a little bit of downtown Dallas. And there it is to this, just engulfed in clouds, which is kind of cool to look at. If you were, like I say, up in that building right there, dead, dead in front of us, up there at the top, you'd be in, in the clouds. What a day that would be. I, looks like it's got me going. I'm gonna kick after I go underneath the freeway. I'm gonna kick left over to Elm Street and then, um, I think that's the street that JFK was went down to get to uh, that other street that he had to turn left on. I want to say he turned right on Griffith, maybe, and then he turned left on I can't think of the name of the road where the book depository is sitting right there on the corner. Uh, I actually been at that light, not even realizing where I was until the light turned green. I went, ooh, the book depository, there it is. I've been here for, seems like a thousand years. And not once if I stopped and gandered at it, but it's, I mean, it's really a sad. Um, very sad story. JFK was taken out. This is uh, Central Expressway that we're looking at right there. 75 goes all the way to Oklahoma. And then some, I think. I've only taken it to, seems like I took it to Oklahoma City and then we had a tornado down there in Moore, Oklahoma. I went down there and helped on the cleanup. And man, if, you, if you're physically able to do something like that, uh, go help out in a catastrophe and, and it actually talk to some of the homeowners that are, uh, that are out there helping clean up. Um, it's, uh, I mean, the tornado that came through, I can't remember what year that was, 2012, 2011. Okay, I got a blinking. Salazar building, I guess. that scaffolding and get all that netting you got to put up and 
Look at that ladder. Man, what a what a heck of a climb that is. Doesn't look like that much from here, but man, you start getting up there. And one, two, three, four, five, six stories up. There's a little bit of The Majestic, there's an old sign. Storefront, maybe they redid it, maybe it's original. I bet it's original. Oh, that's cool, old theater. God, can you imagine moving and all this? How can you live downtown? What a different frame of mind. I just wish I was way up there in that building. Except, you know the building's moving. Would this guy get over? Would you would you get the heck over? You know, there are, line, there are lines painted on the road for a reason. I got one mile before I turn right. Downtown Brown, brother. I do not like this at all. I'm gonna keep this, gonna keep this camera going just because. Yeah, I got, I got an offender bender with a bus down here one time. It was like 3:30 in the afternoon. Everybody in the world was outside, and I just, I couldn't keep up with all the signs and whatnot. And I got confused, and I turned right to go to I-30, and right in front of a bus that was just sitting there, and then all of a sudden he decides to take off. Well, the bus has a lane, especially for it, so you gotta, you gotta give way. What do I do? Cut right in front of him and said, yeah, I'm gonna make you stop. And he did, he put the brakes on that bus just, just, just from inertia and the play that it has and its shocks kissed my passenger door and just dented it in. I popped it back out. Still, you'd think that I, you know, was some FBI most wanted or something. Everybody in the world showed up wanting to know my name, rank, and serial number. Oh, and what speed dial number for my insurance. Didn't even put a smudge on the bumper of the, of the uh, bus, which I physically wiped off in front of the police officer while he was looking at it. And the guy goes, man, there's no, there's no claim here. I said, yeah. My truck, my truck's the claim. Well, that was, I hope you enjoyed uh, downtown Dallas, Texas on a, uh, what is this, Tuesday? Yeah, this is a Tuesday afternoon at about two o'clock. Look at that old building. I bet that, that building's probably 1930s. Look at the spalling of that brick. Dallas County Service Building. Interesting. Stay in the what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Golly. I was thinking about being a truck driver, but here's the prime reason I don't want to be. Because, man, the, I'm just nervous. I'm... I'm nervous as it is, and I'm in a pickup truck. Elm Place. Ah, uh, this this is this is Deep Elm. Is that where we're? At? There's another old building right there. It's got a historical marker on it. So, 1909, 19, 
19 who knows when it was built somewhere in that probably somewhere in that neighborhood looks like the book this depository which it is that's what it is there's the window can you see it stay in the middle lane well I'm not in the middle lane the grassy knoll there's all that and then that's where that guy got hit with a bullet that bounced up got him in the in the cheek he's telling me to go this way I'm dealing with this truck again going south nope going the wrong way all right traffic gotta put you down later